go to Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, from the eighth wonder of the world of sports and entertainment, Mr. Jerry Jones, Dallas Cowboys Stadium, Arlington, Texas, USA. Paul Barron's top-ranked boxing and MP promotions are proud to present the main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBC Super Welderweight Championship of the World. Sponsored by Tecate, Cerveza con Carácter, AT&T, Viva Mexico Plan. Make calls from your wireless phone as if they were a local call. EA Sports Fight Night Champion, available March 1st. Smart Communications, the Philippines' largest mobile company, and Top Gear on the History Channel. The gearheads are coming to history with Top Gear. Premieres next Sunday, November 21st. And now, here are your three judges at ringside. Scoring the bout, Glenn Crocker, Jürgen Lagos, and Oren Schellenberger. This contest sanctioned by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation, Executive Director William Kunz, Chairman Brian Francis, Boxing Administrator Dickie Cole, WBC President Jose Suleiman, and inside the ring, in charge of the action at the bell, referee Lawrence Cole. And now for the thousands in attendance and the millions around the world who wish they could be here. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get ready to rumble! <laughs> Fighting out of the blue corner, standing with head trainer Roberto Garcia, wearing black with red, officially weighing 150 pounds. His professional record, 38 victories, including 27 knockouts with six defeats. From Tijuana, Baja California, Norte, Mexico, the three-time champion of the world, El Tornado de Tijuana, Antonio And fighting out of the red corner, standing with head trainer Freddie Roach, wearing white with gold. Official weight, 144, one half pounds. Professional record, 51 victories, including 38 knockouts, with three defeats and two bouts even. From Sarangani Province, Philippines, the seven time champion of the world, Manny Pac-Man. Manny. Rosaries, you want to take his rosaries off? Rosaries. All right, gentlemen. I went over things early in the dressing room. I want you to obey my commands. Protect yourselves at all times. Understood? Play Olympia, you win a sweat thing, touch him up. Let's have a great fight. Antonio Margarito has said that Manny Pacquiao better be ready for war. Pacquiao always is, and so are we. Already it has been a tumultuous evening in Cowboys Stadium. Prior to the fight, 
Antonio Margarito's hand wrapping exercise was because of his recent history, carefully observed, probably the most carefully watched hand wrap ever, and of course Pacquiao's hand wrap was so absurd. But during the same period of time, members of Pacquiao's camp believed they saw Antonio Margarito either drinking coffee or taking an ephedra-based substance in the dressing room. They protested to the Texas State Athletic Commission. The Athletic Commission had to bring the two trainers together. There were fierce and heated words on both sides. Eventually, it was determined that a drug test after the fight will have to be the measure of whether Margarito has taken a banned substance. And Pacquiao, for his part, gave no indication that he ever considered not entering the ring the fight. So here they are. And Margarito starting with a decent jab. Something surely he has worked on in training. The question there, of course, becomes how long does it last? Pacquiao trying to get inside and go to the body. And Emmanuel Stewart, must Pacquiao fight a pressure fight? Uh, right now, many have cannot. I see the size difference. It's a big factor right now. I see he's punching. He's not used to punching at a man as big as this man is, who seems to be absorbing his blows pretty easy. Punching up at an angle robs you of power, does it not? Yes, it does. So he has and, a better chance to affect Margarito yeah. with his normal power if Margarito hunches over and brings himself down to him a little bit. What I'm surprised about is Margarito's jab, which is a very good move. And that seems to be most, at this stage, the most dominant punch in the fight has been his left jab. And the last thing people expected to see was Antonio Margarito standing yeah. Yeah. in the middle of the ring and boxing with Manny Pacquiao. But that's what's happened so far. There's a, a left hand over the top for Manny that brings the crowd to life for him. But Manny needs to try to catch Margarito when he's jabbing with a little left step back and shoot the straight left right through the center. But other than that, he may have a problem tonight. I see the physical side seems to be a big factor. What about going to Margarito's body and trying to bring Margarito's arms and head down? Well, one thing, Manny makes adjustments as the fight goes on very well. And if you notice, after most fights when we interview him, he tells you how I was smart, I played it a little safe, I made adjustments. He's a very intelligent fighter. Margarito has thrown almost exclusively jabs in the first round. That goes against the scouting report. Pacquiao with a good right-left combination upstairs. Margarito's grinning at him as twice Pacquiao fired the left right up the gut and landed it on Margarito's face. And Margarito has shown a good jab, especially early in the round, but Pacquiao's dominated this round with a right hook with a straight left hand to the body. Well, he's won maybe the remember. I don't think he's done it. I think I, I see think a has. lot of factors with the jabs of Margarita Stewart. 44 jabs out of 53 punches. I, I gave the round slightly to Pacquiao because he landed some pretty clean punches, but the left jab seems to be uh, becoming more of a factor as the fight goes on from Margarita. But I thought Pacquiao landed enough clean shots inside to slightly win the round. Margarito has been a notoriously slow starter through much of his career. A 53 punch output for Antonio Margarito in round one seems very low, but he has had trouble getting rolling in the early parts of some of his fights, notably the Paul Williams fight. Margarito still content to stand in the middle of the ring and box with Manny Pacquiao, has not tried to drive him to the ropes. The referee is Lawrence Cole. He's the son of Texas State Commission head Dickie Cole. And you usually see him at major fights here in Texas. You know, early in the Claudi fight, Pacquiao was also hit a bit more than we used to seeing hit in recent fights. Yeah, and here Margarito. Margarito has landed not only some shots, he landed a headbutt followed by a right hand. These are hard shots from a big man. And the size, size has been a big factor in this fight, as I see right here. But speed belongs to Pacquiao. And so he rallies back there. Still, yeah, the loss of power from punching up could be a factor in the fight. Pacquiao beginning to focus a little more to the body, I think. That would well, probably be a good idea. I, I still see the same facial expression that Margarita had when he fought Cotto. I mean, you're not yeah, supposed yeah, to be I'm on the ropes he, against, against Margarito, yeah. and there he is on the ropes, Emmanuel. Well, I say the size, I keep saying size, 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 but I just see that being a big factor in this fight right now, the way it's going. That was the first time that Pacquiao found his body against the ropes. And if there was one thing Freddie Roach harped on throughout training, it was don't put your back on the ropes. Never. Looks like Pacquiao is determined not to be bullied by the bigger guy and is foregoing some defense and a little bit more in the mode that we saw him as a lighter fighter when he would go toe-to-toe -to -toe more with some of the great Mexican fighters that he beat. 
south of lightweight. Good left hook inside by, or left cross inside by Pacquiao. He lands the right hook too as Margarito steps in. Margarito has been landing his jab. Pacquiao is landing power shots when he gets close. Uppercuts for Margarito, his favorite punch. He landed both the left and the right hand uppercut there. This is why when you ask me, could, did Margarito have a chance? I say yes, mainly a lot because of the size factor. And Pacquiao, I'm looking at the eyes. Pacquiao is much more uncomfortable than Margarito is at this stage, even though he may be winning the fight. Brand new experience for Pacquiao, of course, fighting a man this big. Delectable experience, perhaps, for Margarito, fighting a man this small. When I was uh, giving you the keys to victory earlier, I said Margarita didn't work left uppercuts or right uppercuts through the middle because in the past it's shown that Pacquiao is very vulnerable for punches up through the center. Those are power punches inside. You heard Freddie Roach saying to Pacquiao, it's too early to start trying to bang this guy around. You need to soften him up a little more. It's been a long time since Manny Pacquiao looked vulnerable. And he's looked a little vulnerable here early. Pacquiao pressing the speed advantage. Margarito still fighting for him. An unfamiliar fight in the middle of the ring. Boxing with his hands up. Doing reasonably well at it. Part of the book on the fight was Margarito's not a jabber. Doesn't have the kind of jab that will bother Pacquiao. First three rounds, Margarito's jab is bothering Pacquiao. Good straight left hand by Pacquiao. Brought it around Margarito's glove and landed flush. Another one. Little right hook inside for Pacquiao. Despite the vaunted Pacquiao power, none of these punches seem to be really bothering Margarito. They're just landing. Good right hook inside by Pacquiao, landed on the chin. Stop. Now Margarito okay. talks to Lawrence Cole about headbutts. Pacquiao flirts with the corner there, then moves away. Now his back is against the ropes. Margarito tries to press the action. Pacquiao hits him flush with a big left hand. And then flurries and backs Margarito off again. Pacquiao using the hand speed advantage to get Margarito off of it. It does look like, Emmanuel, that Manny Pacquiao has figured out something in Margarito in the last minute or so. Yeah, the one thing he's got to do is punch in flurries and get in and out. Just, just trying to just force a knockout is not going to happen. He's got to eventually catch him with a clean shot. But in the meantime, I, I still see that the weight difference of Margarita is pushing through and forcing Manny to back back. And it, it's, it's a difference in moving side to side, but he's pushing him straight back. Good right hand shot by Margarito around Pacquiao's guard. I think one thing Pacquiao's discovered in this round is that Margarito's gloves are split and he can throw his left hand straight up the middle. Here you see Pacquiao land beautiful punches, even with his defense up. Margarita still was getting good punches because of the accurate pinpoint punching power. Pacquiao. But also, you notice at the end of all of this, year, Margarita still has a smile on his face. Well, as guys will often do as they're being touched up. I'm not sure that that means <laughs> anything, really. Pacquiao now getting a little distance between himself and Margarito in CompuBox numbers. That was a very good round for Manny. Harold, how do you have it through three? Okay, Jim. 
three to nothing, 30 to 27, Manny Pacquiao. Jim, I love the guy's power punching. I mean, you know, really, he's winning this fight on clean, effective punching. Now, he shows great ring generalship. Don't take it away from him. He, he throws the right, then he throws the left, then he steps to the side. So when Margarito comes out of the shell, he don't hit him because the guy ain't there. You know, that's good ring generalship. Pacquiao does it all the time. Three to nothing, Pacquiao. I gotta say, I agree with Harold, guys. I see this as a wide fight for Pacquiao. I think Margarito's doing well in spots and rounds, but I haven't seen a round I thought, oh, maybe no. Margarito won. No, I, I give the, I give all three rounds to Pacquiao also. I think he's winning, but he's gotta be prepared to, it maybe have to go the distance in case he gets a knockout fan. But, you know, even though he's landing and winning the fight, he's gotta be, but I hope he's in great shape. Well, I think you're looking at 12 rounds of nervous jeopardy, but he might win every round. What we see On the here. other hand, Margarito is telling his corner and has told them several times, according to interpreter Jerry Olaya, he has no power, he can't hurt me. Talking about Pacquiao. Now, the marks begin to show on Margarito's face as he has a big red welt under his right eye. So Pacquiao can do that. Yeah, Margarito's saying that Pacquiao's not hurting him, but his face is telling a different story. Indeed. And Pacquiao's beginning to land with almost every punch. The difference here between Pacquiao and Mosley, who manhandled Margarito, is Pacquiao may be younger and better and faster than Mosley, but he's not as physically strong and has to do this rather than just he heard bully him body punch Margarito around the ring. He's, he's beating Margarito up in this round. There's a huge welt under Margarito's right eye. He's backing Margarito up, and he's hurting him. I and Margarito can say all he wants that Pacquiao can't hurt him, but that's not true. Pacquiao hit it with a body punch, I think, and maybe they took all of the starch out of him. Margarito misses wildly with a right to the body. Pacquiao is fully in control now. Hand speed slices you up. That's what's happening now. And Pacquiao, no matter how small he is relative to his opponent, has never stopped punching like he means it. No, it, but what, he, what makes him different from a lot of the day's fighters, he punches through his opponents. Most of the fighters today, they punch at the target. Very seldom do they penetrate. Pacquiao stood still for a moment, got backed in the ropes and hit with an uppercut. And that's the only bad moment so far in an otherwise totally dominant round. Margarita slowed down tremendously this round, even though he wasn't doing too much and he was losing. But it seemed like that one body punch took everything out of him. Among all the experts' comments coming into the fight, one of the ones I found most interesting was from Joshua Clotty. Clotty said... Here you see the left hand shot to the body, which I think started all of the serious problems for Margarita. Even though he was being outpointed, seemingly with that shot, he never has recuperated. And if you notice, his body form is bending over as if he's still hurt from the body punch. He looked wilted at the end of the round. And that right eye doesn't look good. The cut man in Antonio Margarito's corner is Francisco Espinoza. He's got a big job on his hands now. Sensational round for Pacquiao, who landed 43 of 62 power shots, demonstrating what a lot of people said coming into the fight, that Margarito is a big but easy target. Pompey Box tells us that Manny's output in round four represents the largest number of punches ever landed on Antonio Margarito in a single round. And you know, Pacquiao punches very accurate too. He doesn't just waste punches, his punches are very accurate. I think he's the most accurate puncher in boxing, Emmanuel. He even has the ability to adjust the punch in mid arc. Yeah. Margarito going to the body against the ropes. That was the first moment that Margarito actually made it look for a moment this, this like his fight against Cotto. And here comes Pacquiao. As always. He loves to answer back. Yes. <laughs> Incidentally, guys, I mentioned CompuBox saying that Pacquiao just landed the most punches ever landed on Antonio Margarito in a single round. This despite the fact that Margarito went 12 rounds with extreme volume puncher Paul Williams, who fought a great fight against him. Well, Pacquiao's hitting him harder. Yeah. 
As, Absolutely. As, he jolted as, back, or jolted Margarito with a left hand there. Jolts him with a right hook there. Pacquiao's fighting spirit is something to behold. He loves fighting. And, you know, he always wants to get the better of an exchange. That's why it's hard to win rounds against him, because if you get him with a punch, he's going to get you back before the bell rings. And look at the different angles that the punches are coming from. When Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, was asked about the huge weight advantage that was likely here for Margarito, he said, look, I don't know if he goes up to 180. Every pound he adds is better for us. Pacquiao takes his little breathers by the ropes, and Margarito takes advantage. But he didn't have a lot of snap on his punches, did he? Yeah, that's right. Margarito doesn't have much punch, uh, punching power at all at this stage. He has had something taken out of him again, Emmanuel. The body shots. That one shot to the body seemed to have changed the fight tremendously. Not that Margarito was winning, but at least he was fighting with better spirit and better speed. But that one shot... Everything seemed to sap out of him for a moment. Well, of course, since Manny's a southpaw, it wasn't a left hook to the body, it's a left cross, but the oh, bottom Margarito line staggered. lands in the same place. Straight left hand shots for Pacquiao, staggering Martirigo momentarily there. Big right hook. Great shot. Another great round for Pacquiao. Speaks for itself. And just to make things worse, that's the eye out of which Margarito has to try to track Manny Pacquiao's lightning left hand. Maybe the fastest punch in boxing. You know what, and, and not just speed, but he punches with power. Most of the guys that have speed, they don't have power. Pacquiao in the fifth, or, or Pacquiao through the first five rounds, averaging 33 out of 81. Margarito averaging 18 out of 63. 63 punches average per round for Antonio Margarito, who at the height of his career a few years ago was averaging 100 punches per round. The punch output gets limited when you start fighting in a brand new style, as he's doing tonight. And when you start to get hit hard by somebody like Manny Pacquiao. And Look at Pacquiao move from side yeah, to this side. Is, this is what I said he should do continually. Creating angles. But create angles, yeah, because There's Margarito, no way Margarito can no, find him. No. no way Margarito finds him when he does that. Just too much side to side. Pacquiao was moving to his left to start the round to try to move into Margarito's eye where Margarito couldn't see him. That didn't work, so he, he started moving right and beat him up that way. In the offseason last year, Chicago Bears cornerback Charles Tillman made a pilgrimage to Las Vegas to watch Manny Pacquiao fight against Miguel Cotto. Afterward, I asked him what was most impressive. He said, easy, the footwork. I've never seen yeah. any athlete very, in any sport. Yeah, very many people realize that his footwork is phenomenal. Yeah, that's and, what and Tillman said. Punch. I've never seen an athlete in any sport who can get to so many places so fast. And have punching power. A lot of guys move, but it's strictly footwork. He can move and punch from any of those angles or balance positions that he's in. having a better round this one than the last couple still losing by a wide margin obviously but actually landing some punches yeah. in exchange. Well, Manny's taking something of a breather this round it appears to me. But he's winning the round still I think uh, Manny is. I, I've, given, I've given Manny every round of the fight so far. Some bigger than others but he's winning all of them. Now Margarito catches Pacquiao twice against the ropes and Manny finally is able to dodge away. But this gives Margarito energy. This yeah. gives him will and confidence. Suddenly he's back in the fight as he's tasted for a moment the advantage of having Pacquiao against the ropes. This is Pacquiao's nightmare. Locked in a trap against a much bigger man. Fights his way out of it. Bloodies Margarito some more. Here you see against the ropes, the best exchange of the night that favored Margarita right here when he was landing a lot of blows and Polo Manny was trying to get away from him and he was landing shots body and head. But at the end of the round still, Manny came right back with a lot of blows again, which still made it could have been a close round. Because that was the only really good flurry for Margarita. But I think Margarita should have won that round.
Pacquiao's racking up some astonishing numbers, though. 39 power punches landed in that round. Now round seven begins to more than halfway through the fight. Harold Letterman, how do you have it so far? Look at you. I got it six to nothing, six to fifty-four. Manny Pacquiao. I gotta tell you, as close as that sixth round was, Manny Pacquiao still landed the clean hardest shots. I thought he pulled it out in the end. Be as it may, Manny circling back and forth, you know, bobbing and weaving, getting on the margarito shots, and landed tremendous shots of his own. And Jim, the one thing we can't measure is the amount of pain that Margarito feels every time he gets hit on that on that swollen eye. I mean, he really must be hurting. Six to nothing, Pacquiao. I agree with Harold. I thought Pacquiao was one every round, including the last one. You know, and Jim. But, but you got those rounds that is called comparative rounds. I thought Manny wanted, but I think that on the scorecard, Margarita may get it because it compared to the other rounds. Yep. But he really didn't win it. But a lot of judges do that just to keep him in the fight, so to say. Jim, you mentioned that it's Pacquiao's nightmare. I think Pacquiao loves it. It might be Freddie Roach's nightmare to get trapped in that fight. But I think Pacquiao loves a good scrap like the last round. I think you're correct. I think it's Freddie Roach's nightmare. I think it might be Bob Arum's nightmare. But the bottom line is, you're right. Manny loves to fight. Loves to fight. Loves the challenge. Well, this is a dazzling display of boxing skill, power, everything. Ring generalship here. Unbelievable. So, in a historical sense, and obviously the fight's not over, but how good is he, Emmanuel? I, I think he's one of the best fighters I've ever saw. And he's what we call a natural. Been getting with a good trainer that really improved him like Freddie did and brought the best out of him, but he is a natural fighter. Well, I'll say this. I've covered boxing for 24 years, and I covered Ray Leonard from ringside, and this is the best offensive fighter I've ever seen. He does it all and fights everybody. That's what I like about him. This, he's, he's really enjoying himself here. You see him try to do the kind of Ollie shuffle a few seconds ago. <laughs> See what's kept Margarito up in this fight is his enormous size. The size. Advantage. The only thing, Jim, before the fight, you said you could see it possibly go in a 12 round decision only because of Margarito's size. Yep. That's the only factor, but it's strictly a Pacquiao show. No, if, if I had a prediction, it was going to be that Pacquiao would win all 12 rounds, win a unanimous decision, and there'd be a lot of nervous moments in it. Yes. I thought Pacquiao would stop Margarito right around the sixth or seventh round. And, um, you may be on target. Or, or you may be because Margarito is, 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 seems to be weathering these storms pretty well in spite of the look, in spite of the way his face looks. Margarito's hanging in and he's having more flurries as the fight continues, but Pacquiao just stunned him with a right hook and backed him off again. Here you see Manny Pacquiao landing all of these precise punches, even with a guards up in high defense, he still pinpoints areas where he can get through and penetrate. But to me, the fight, the perfect fight is the way he fought the last round, punching, moving, in and out, taking advantage of that great natural coordination and balance and footwork that he has. Happy box numbers in round seven. Pacquiao 45 of 104, his high output for the fight. Margarito 31 out of 71, his best round of the fight, landing at 44%. Harold Letterman is still given every round in the fight so far to Manny Pacquiao. And incidentally, I'll alter my prediction, guys. If Margarito throws an uppercut from too far away, <laughs> Pacquiao might counter him and knock him out. That replay that we just showed was a six-punch combination where every punch landed from Pacquiao in the middle of the ring. And they look at the fact that Margarito had his defense up all that time, and he penetrated amazing. to defense. It's amazing. There was a time in the middle of his career when Manny Pacquiao was a terrific, world-class, one-handed fighter. Margarito banging him against the ropes here, trying to get to Pacquiao's body. That could change the fight. Pacquiao fighting back with his back on the ropes. And here comes Manny. And he Manny. turns it around and bangs oh. Margarito viciously. Left cross straight on the bad eye. And another one right on that Badly bruised right eye of Margarito. Pacquiao hits him again with the left. Margarito nods at him. Pacquiao hits him at will. Bang. 
Know who else likes to fight? Wants. Know who else likes to fight? Margarito. Margarito. Absolutely. You know, I've, I've trained in the gym with Margarito. And what, he trains well, well, there. going 15 and 16 rounds. That's because he wins his fights on stamina. So even though he's tired and, and, and being beat up pretty much, he trains himself to fight this way. So he's still going to be fighting very strong going down the stretch in this fight. Because that's his biggest factor is fighting while he's tired. And he's blocking some of the punches, taking some. He took a big left hook there. Remember, Pacquiao is taking full shots from a 165-pound man who outweighs him 17 pounds in the ring tonight. And speaking of redemption for Margarito, so far this has been a measure of redemption because he's never stopped fighting his fight in spite of a frightful beating. And he's had success fighting in spots the way we used to see him knock out good opponents. But he's not breaking Manny Pacquiao up the way he did Miguel Cotto. Draw your own conclusions. I talked to Miguel earlier today. Miguel said this was going to be a very tough fight. As I was telling him, I thought that Pacquiao I had to edge. He said, man, he may have edge, but it's going to be a hard fight. What an exchange. What a fight. I mean, this is a fun fight to watch for a fight that's being... Here you see Pacquiao in the ropes again, which is where every time that Margarita has a good rally, or so to say, it's always when he's got him pitting in the ropes. But usually right after that, always, Manny comes right back with a flurry of punches. But Margarita's best success has been when he's had him in the ropes. And here it is left uppercut, which is his weakness, right up through the center. Power shots in the eighth round. Pacquiao landed 35 out of 65. That's sensational. Margarito had a tremendous round, landing 29 out of 55. Again, Harold Letterman continues to give every round to Manny Pacquiao. So I think with the rest of us. Even when Margarito's having those great moments with Pacquiao's back on the ropes, Pacquiao, even in those moments, is landing almost as much as Margarito, it seems to me. And gentlemen, CompuBox reports that the 34 punches Margarito landed in that last round are the most anybody's ever landed against Manny Pacquiao in a single round. So now Pacquiao has a new distinction in his career. He took the most punches he's ever taken in one round from a guy who outweighs him 17 pounds. And Manny holds on, and he's getting tired. Yep, but it's a, you know, it's a size factor. If it wasn't, it wasn't the fact that Marguerite was so big, almost 20 pounds bigger, Manny would have knocked him out sooner. But he's been able to absorb as much like when Sugar Ray Roberts fought Joey Maxim at time. And he did everything, in the, the, but the 15-pound weight advantage was too much, and it wore Robinson down. Remember that when Henry Armstrong went up and tried to win the middleweight championship after having won the featherweight, lightweight, and welterweight championships already, he ran out of gas against a bigger man. Seferino Garcia, and that was in once a case again. It was just too much weight difference. Oh, he got a draw. Yeah, and he call think, a draw. Call call he deserves draw, yes, to win. Yeah. But it's just a bigger man can absorb the punches a little better than a smaller guy. But a regular 140 pounder, I think Manny would have knocked out. There was another left-hand rally by Manny Pacquiao. But showing intelligence and perhaps some fatigue, Pacquiao, for the first time in this round, has begun to move away simply to create space between himself and Margarito. Call it breathing room. And smart strategy. Uh, he can pretty much do what he wants from long range, even though he's the smaller fighter, Pacquiao. Another anomaly. If he's in good shape and he can continue to do this, he'll win the fight fairly easy. But, you know, once he gets in the ropes, Margarita uses his physical strength to rough him up. It does seem as though Pacquiao's maybe decided that he can't knock Margarito out at this point. Unless somebody wants to stop the fight because of that right eye, which is grotesque at this point. And as I said, that Pacquiao landed some great hooks. Knockout style hooks. Here you see Manny Pacquiao do what he does better than any boxer in the game. Let a guy miss, 
catch him with a punch, let him miss, hit him with a punch again. A lot of guys will let guys miss punches, but they don't take advantage of it the way that he does. Treated in the corner and is becoming a grotesque Go, bloody mask. He has a cut under his eye, Margarito. You saw in that replay. When he gets hit, it slaps. Time. Quantos, Quantos, Quantos. Oh, it's Cole trying to see if Antonio Margarito can still see. Tests him in the middle of the ring. Harold, how do you have it so far? I still got it a shout out. 90 to 81, nine rounds to nothing. The hard punching Manny Pacquiao. Jim, he's landed a clean of hardest shots in every round. He's elusive as all get out, like Emmanuel has been saying. I mean, he's doing it all right. Beautiful ring generalship, fairly good defense. You know, he's been really aggressive, just fighting the perfect fight. Nine to nothing, Manny Pacquiao. Someday, boxing fans will look back and have a lot of fun arguing with each other about what was Manny Pacquiao's greatest performance, what was his most impressive feat, what was his biggest night. If this continues the way it does, and he wins all 12 rounds against a guy 17 pounds bigger than himself, touching him up, beating him up, ruining his face the way he is, this will be in the discussion. Well, it's not just that Margarito's 17 pounds bigger, it's that Pacquiao's moved up 40 pounds and then gave away 17 pounds. Right, he's a former flyweight beating yeah. up one of the biggest welterweights we ever saw. Yes, and I see our drone consider Pacquiao no more than no, just a lightweight, about 138, 39 pounder. And incidentally, which is amazing. You've noticed that long beard on Margarito, Freddie Roach, wanted to get the Texas State Athletic Commission to make Margarito shave off the beard, which probably they would have done. Pacquiao said, leave it there. I want to use it as a target. That's a fighter. Unbelievable machine. He's putting it on Margarito right now. up the deck. Manny, Manny, Manny. Boom! Another perfect right hook. What a show. What an amazing performance. The margarita is just mentally, totally, and physically fatigued both. And this is a what right hook. That's, he what he he's ready right to that's go. one of the biggest tabs yeah. I've ever seen. It was a right hook. He didn't see yeah. it coming. That was a right hook from Pacquiao. Yeah. Pacquiao Stop shot Margarita in the track. Fight. He had another 30 seconds. He still may stop him. He may, not, he, may not get, he may get out of this round, but I think it's a good chance that Pacquiao may stop him in the next couple of rounds. How badly does Mark... Here you see this counter right hook, which is, as I said earlier, one of the best punches that you can land, and he and he's very good at that. It used to be when he first came left, and that's all you had to look out for. But now he's developing to a balanced out fighter, right hook, jab, right uppercut, straight left through the saddle, complete fighter. Once he added the right hand to his stunning left cross, that took him to an entirely different stratosphere in offensive fighting. The 10th round was one of the most brutally dominant rounds of Pacquiao's career. He landed 57 of 89 power shots. Margarito threw 23 punches and landed nine. That's why Robert Garcia clearly gave consideration to stopping the fight. Another measure of redemption for Margarito. Even though he's the villain with the hand wraps, he has a ton of heart. He could have gotten out of this fight a million times whenever the ref says, how many fingers am I holding? He wants to keep fighting. He's not just doing it as a show for the referee or for, or for the fans, rather. Look at me, I'm tough. He really wants to win the fight, even though he's hopelessly behind and no, getting No head movement at all. Hey, the referee, there's no head movement Pacquiao at all. looking towards the ref, asking him to stop the fight at this point, it looks to me. Landed a shot, looked towards. Coles he again well, looks I, at Cole. I think How referee, much punishment do you want him to take? The ref, that is, that's what he's saying to Cole. But the referee's doing a good job, I think. It's, it's right that you can't stop it yet. Because as long as the guy's punching back. Oh, 
If he was back to the ropes and being hit or something, would be different. But at this stage here, he's out being out punched. But the referee has to wait have a few more seconds to focus on. Emmanuel, well, he's rearranging Margarito's face, and it may never look the same again. I don't know, but it's just it's, this, this is boxing. I hate to say it. This is a vicious This beatdown. is a vicious, yep. The issue is not Margarito's eye at this moment, it's his brain. How many clean headshots can one man take? I mean, his punches have zero snap. He is waving at Pacquiao. If the referee stopped, there wouldn't be any complaint, but I just don't think he's going to stop at the table. It's really not it's it's a, Lawrence goal. It's a, a solid target. He's not moving his head at all. This reminds me of Roy Jones against Bryant Brannan. Jones actually asked the referee, when in the heck are you going to stop this stop. fight? Stop! And then Jones shrugged and knocked Brannan out. That's exactly right. But it's not just completed, just he's getting hit so much, but just looking at his eyes, he can't even hardly see. Margarito fought to the finish against Shane Mosley, who is hammering him similarly to this. Corner asked if they wanted the fight, or if he wanted the fight stopped. He said no. Wanted the fight to the finish. Same thing here, obviously. But it's not doing Margarito any good to take the number of shots he's taking now. Flush on a, an already badly yeah. brutal situation. He only landed six out of 18 punches in the 11th round. That after 9 of 23 in the 10th. Pacquiao landed 51 of 75 power shots in the last round, meaning he is more or less hitting Margarito at will. One more round to go. When Pacquiao was doing this to Miguel Cotto, Cotto's wife left the arena. You can see that the smile is utterly gone from the face of Margarito's spouse. They've been together since high school. She's never seen him like this. Max, I honestly wonder whether Pacquiao has no more stomach for the punishment. He doesn't seem eager to hit Margarito anymore. He does look like he's carrying Margarito yeah. right now. As much like Joe Calzaga Some did. of the greatest but fighters in history have done this. Joe, uh, Joe Calzaga seemingly was doing that with Roy Jones in the later rounds, too. Absolutely. There's no question. Pacquiao's pulling his punches now. He is not following through and committing the way he does most of the time. It's an acknowledgment from Pacquiao that the knockout isn't necessary. To a certain degree, it's a nod to Margarito's guts and courage for coming as far as he has. And Pacquiao is going to let him finish the fight. You wonder seeing this, as much as, as great as Pacquiao is and as dominant as he's been, Margarito's not known as an accurate puncher. You wonder if Floyd Mayweather's watching this thinking, maybe the time is right to fight this guy. For years, Sugar Ray Leonard wouldn't fight Marvin Hagler. Of course, Hagler is much bigger than Leonard. Um, until he felt the time was right. He noticed Hagler slow down against Duran and Mugabe. Then he took the fight. You wonder if maybe Floyd is waiting for Pacquiao to slow down a little bit. Because to my eye, guys, this Pacquiao is not quite the same as the Pacquiao of maybe a year or two ago. A little I don't know, easier to hit. That's hard to say because yeah. he's fighting such different guys every guy. time yeah. out, and they're all so big. Yeah. Now suddenly there's some Manny energy. Looks as though he wants to make sure that he wins the round, make clear who's still dominant, but obviously he's not trying to finish Margarita. This is not Manny Pacquiao the fighter. This is Manny Pacquiao the congressman. Manny Pacquiao, the cultural icon. Manny Pacquiao, the citizen of the world. That's the man who's letting Margarito finish. Uh, and we're done. Jim, your prediction was right. Pacquiao has his unanimous manual. You can hit him. The question is how many times is he going to hit you? Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen from Cowboys Stadium, we go to the scorecards.
Jay Lango scores the bout 120, 108. Glenn Crocker, 118, 110. Oren Schellenberger, 119, 109. All three to the winner by unanimous decision. And now winner of his eighth world championship, the fighting pride of Serengani Province, Philippines, Manny.